So, okay, well, what does this relationship look like? What, what is the relationship of the church and its members? It's really simple. The church says to the Christian, your profession of faith, your baptism, and your discipleship is valid. We commit to helping you grow, mature, and to hold you accountable. Now, here's the thing. Your profession of faith in Christ, your baptism, and your discipleship might be valid if you're not a member of a church, but I'm not vouching for you. And the other churches aren't going to vouch for you. So you are a word unto yourself. When you have the backing of the local church, you're saying, no, the, the church is saying, no, no, we affirm this person. Their discipleship, their credibility, their baptism, that, they're, they're legit. It doesn't mean you're perfect, but it means that you are surrendered to Christ. And we know that. Why? Because you're surrendered to his body. And we're, and you're, uh, we're holding you accountable. To the, and the Christian says to the church, insofar as I recognize you to be a faithful Gospel declaring church. That's important because if we are not a faithful church, if we are not a gospel declaring church, you should not be a member of that church. Insofar as I recognize you to be a faithful gospel declaring church, I submit my presence and my discipleship to your love and to your oversight. I submit to the authority of spiritual leadership. I commit to advancing the mission and vision of the church. This is very important. Authority to spiritual leadership does not mean I dictate any aspect of your personal life. Authority over your, uh, your, your spiritual or authority to spiritual leadership means that we get to hold you accountable to your profession of faith insofar as you are a member of this church. You don't have to ask me for permission to start a Bible study. You don't have to ask me for permission to do what God's called you to do. You don't have to ask me for permission to move to this place or to date this person who's God-fearing or whatever. I'm trying to figure out my own life. I can't dictate your life too. But spiritual leadership and spiritual authority means that I am not a lid, but I am a covering. Me and Pastor Chris are coverings. We are to cover you. That's what spiritual leadership and authority is. And that does mean holding you accountable. If you're living in gross sin, we're going to call you on it. Pastor Chris talked about it today in, uh, in his message. He said a hypocrite is going to be all smiley to your face, and they're going to talk smack on you behind your back. But someone in love, they do the opposite. I might rebuke you to your face, but behind your back, I'm standing up for you. That's what the church does. So this is the Christian saying to the church, insofar as I recognize you as a faithful gospel declaring church, I submit my presence and my discipleship to your love and your oversight. I submit to the authority of spiritual leadership and commit to advancing the mission and vision of the church.